First off, you need your fabric, your bias tape, and we're using double fold, your twist ties, your thread, scissors, elastic, cord, and your pattern. And this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. And then we are using a Singer Heavy Duty. There's links to all these supplies in the description below, so check that out. So depending on the way you want your surgical mask to look, you can either fold in the sides and that's where the seam allowance comes into play, or you can use the double fold bias tape and that's what we're gonna use for this tutorial. Either way, it really just depends on what look you're going for. So again, we went ahead and cut on the solid line because we are using the double fold bias tape. But if you're gonna just fold and hem in the sides, you're gonna to wanna to cut on the dotted line. Go ahead and chalk around the outside of your pattern. And then you're gonna to want to mark each colored line. And there are six on each side. And then you're gonna to wanna to connect the lines going across. This will help create the folds for the front of your mask. So we're gonna show you with the paper first. You're gonna to wanna to go red to red, blue to blue, and yellow to yellow. And this creates those folds in front, as you can see. Now you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with your fabric. You're gonna to wanna to start by cutting out your pattern. and it's that simple, just make sure the lines are touching. But we're gonna run you through a quick step that'll make your surgical mask a little more structured in the end, and especially if you're using a thicker fabric. So if you look back at your pattern, you'll see dashed lines going across the middle of each one of those sections. You're gonna wanna fold right sides together and sew in the middle of each of those sections. For this step, I highly recommend using an edge stitch so again, fold that section in half and sew as close as you can to the edge. And that's why that edge stitch really comes into play because you can just butt that up right against the edge and have a nice even straight line going down. Now repeat the same process for each of the three sections. And again, you're only doing three sections, so don't go in between the small sections. So when you complete that process, it should look like this, and it will be a little bit easier to fold into place. So now you're gonna to wanna to hold that fold and do a straight stitch across to lock it in place. and do the same thing to the other side. So as you can see, there's chalk lines, and a quick tip for getting out chalk lines, just take the same fabric and rub them together, and it generally takes out all that chalk. So now we're gonna go ahead and iron the folds down, and this just makes it a little more crisp in the end when you're using a heavier weight fabric. So go ahead and grab your elastic cord and cut it at about six and a half inches. Be careful what cord you use because if your cord is not stretchy enough, it will pull your ears forward. So just be on the lookout for that. So now we're gonna show you how to seal off those raw edges. 
And there's multiple ways you can do this. We're gonna show you the one with the bias tape maker, which is right here. And this is available on Amazon. We have a link for it. It's super cheap and comes in handy. And also here's the other way, the double fold pre-made bias tape. And that's also in the link below. So we're gonna start off by just taking it and cutting a little bit more than what we need on each edge. You're gonna to wanna to go past what you need and then you can trim it up later. And then go ahead and do this for all the edges. So before putting on your bias tape, we found it's easiest just to lock down your elastic and that way it'll prevent it from moving when you're trying to put on your bias tape and your elastic cord at the same time. So go ahead and just lock it down. You're going to want to put that down from the top just about a quarter of an inch so that way when you're sewing your top bias tape on, you don't run into that elastic cord. So now putting on the bias tape double fold that is pre-made, it's very simple. Just fold it over and sew it on. And other than that, that's pretty much all it is. And you're gonna do this going around. And I recommend doing both of the sides first and then trimming off the axis and then going through and sewing on the top and bottom. Okay, so ignore the grommets in this part. We actually forgot to put the twist tie in when we were sewing on the top. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna show you where to put the twist tie. So that way you have that form going around your nose when you're wearing this. And you can use twist ties or anything that's thin and metal that keeps a form. So when you start sewing the top bias tape on, this is why you leave some axis so you can fold it over and start sewing so you have a nice clean edge all around. All right, so you're gonna wanna start sewing and then before you get too far, slide that twist tie up towards the top of the bias tape and then just sew right on by it. And that's all you have to do to make that front structure in the nose. And then again, when you get to the end here, fold under your bias tape and sew right on through. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to make your own bias tape with your bias tape maker. So you're gonna need to iron your bias tape maker and your bias tape, and this you can cut out of the same fabric you're using because if you're using this, you're probably trying to match your mask and your bias tape to make it all look uniform. So we're gonna be using the half inch, so we cut out an inch wide bias tape, and then we're just gonna feed that through. And then once we have it through, we're just gonna go ahead and iron that down and keep that so it's creased. And you are gonna to wanna to hit that with the iron multiple times so that way it holds its fold and it's easier to put on. So this bias tape maker comes with a presser foot attachment. 
I'm not going to use it for the video, but it comes in handy if you don't really know how to apply it without this and you just feed it through and you can adjust it to whatever size bias tape you're using. All right, now this is the same process as putting on the pre-made bias tape. So you're just going to want to start by doing your sides and then your top and bottom and you're good to go. And again, we're going to show this part again just because it's a little confusing sometimes, but all we're doing is just starting the bias tape out, sewing it, and then we just slide that twist tie in there right up towards the top and we sew as close as we can to the edge so we don't hit that twist tie. All right, and here comes the fun part. Now you get to brand it. You can use leather, labels, patches, whatever you want. Honestly, you can screen print on them. Just different fabrics bring out different looks. Get crazy with it. And again, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think.